My name is Carrie O'Reilly Wilkes. I am a Newfoundlander living in Toronto. In addition to being a mom to two incredible babies and a wife to a superstar husband, I am a legal executive with one of the biggest mining companies in the world. My husband Lloyd and I have an amazing eight-year-old daughter named Mary Rose. Mary Rose overflows with life and love and happiness. She regularly inspires me and puts me in awe over the depth of her young soul. About a year and a half ago, our son Malachi joined our family. Malachi was born seven weeks early. When I was 33 weeks pregnant, I was experiencing some back discomfort and went to labor and delivery triage at a hospital in Toronto to see if I could take extra strength Tylenol for the pain. After a few standard tests, the doctor came in and told me that they would have to deliver my baby that night. I asked for a second opinion and told that I was dying along with my baby and that we both had a very short, finite period to take action. I had severe health syndrome and the only treatment was immediate delivery. As I stood behind the curtain to change into my surgery gown, I started whispering to Malachi, telling him that I would not leave him, promising him that we were in this together, and with a very shaky voice telling him that I was sorry, that I could not hold on to him any longer but that my love for him would carry us both through and that we would be fine. We were blessed that Malachi had no serious issues, but he was very tiny. I, on the other hand, felt fundamentally broken, physically and emotionally, like someone had ripped out my heart and soul and shredded it at my feet. Malachi was principally cared for by the neonatal intensive care unit team at St. Michael's Hospital in downtown Toronto. One of the first people we met at St. Mike's was Dr. Tony Barazzino. I remember because he came to introduce himself to me, showing me his identification card and talking to me about Malachi. My first question was whether Malachi was going to be okay. Dr. Barazzino looked at me and said that he couldn't promise that he'd never be in trouble, but from his perspective, he was going to be completely fine. My second question was whether this was my fault. Dr. Barazzino looked at me with the most gentle eyes, reflective of his soul of pure kindness, and with his hand on my shoulder, told me that this did not happen because of anything I did or did not do. That the entire NIC unit team at St. Mike's were there for us and that they would shepherd us from feeling like we were in darkness into the sunshine. I would find the nurses whispering to him that he was strong, that he was brave, that he was a big boy and telling him how handsome he was in his new pajamas. One night I arrived to a nurse carrying Malachi to the other nurses, showing off his new sleeper and calling him Mr. Handsome. I did not need to worry that Malachi was in the NIC unit ever alone or without an advocate because he was with his family. The nurses and doctors were his family. The NIC unit at St. Mike's is open concept, so everyone can see everything for the most part. This can be a good thing because you don't ever feel alone, but also a bad thing because you see very sad and terrible things as well. You hear monitors and alarms and uncensored raw emotion. You also see the nurses and doctors cry like they lost one of their own. And the reality is in those moments they did. At St. Mike's, they don't care who you are or where you came from. They just care about the help that you need. They don't differentiate between the new mom who lives on the street and has had a bad run of luck from the new mom who lives in the richest part of the city. They treat everyone the same and that is with world-class leading neonatal care and love. You become one team running together with one common goal, helping your child. Perhaps that is one of the reasons why I connected so much with St. Mike's. Their values overlap quite a bit with Newfoundland culture caring for your own, but everyone is your own. Because St. Mike's is a hospital serving primarily the inner city of Toronto, its access to funds can be somewhat limited. This is why my husband and I decided to start an event called Malachi Soiree. Malachi Soiree will be an annual event and is in its first year. It's an enormous celebration of all that is amazing and incredible about St. Mike's NIC unit. The focus is to raise money and awareness through this event about the importance of the neonatal intensive care unit at St. Michael's Hospital. 
It is my family's way of giving back and saying thank you for the extraordinary miracles that they created in our lives and hopefully better arming them financially to continue to create more miracles for more families so that we can spread our smiles. We are so appreciative that we can tell our story so that other families going through similar times can hear us say that you are not alone. The people in medicine at St. Mike's Nick Unit changed our lives forever. You are extraordinary, talented, and incredible leaders, advocates, and friends. Meet Malachi.